Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? How are you this morning, guys? It is Wednesday. Work it Wednesday. Yes, it is. It's Work It Wednesday. Good morning, good morning. For those of you who are just joining, please do remember to put your comments in the comment thread. And also let me know how you are finding these mornings, if they are helping, what helps. And uh, if you have any questions, do remember I always answer your questions. And also just to remind you guys, I said at the beginning of the week that I'm moving over from Facebook. I'm moving off of my profile page onto my business page. So I will put the link. So do follow me on my business page things are changing and so we have to when things change we have to change and we've got to you know keep it moving in the right direction so your morning inspiration will be done on my professional page and youtube only so all right so it's not going to be on my personal page um as from monday yeah as from Monday, so I may, you know, so tell your friends, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your frenemies, tell whoever um, what's happening. So good morning. Those were the announcements this morning. I hope that you are well. I hope you had a good night's rest. This is, as I said, Work It Wednesday. Now, we've been talking about, um, we've been talking about many things, but most, over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about manifestation. <laughs> And we, yesterday uh, we went through uh, some bits and pieces and it made me think about, it made me think about how we speak to, it, it's how we speak to ourselves. And a lot of us are guilty. We don't even realise the kinds of things that we say. Now, one of the things that we know is that death and life is in the power of the tongue. Death comes first. Why does the word come first? Listen, the word that is it's given out it will never ever return back void so that it says that death and life is in the power of the tongue death comes first because we are more inclined to speak death over ourselves not not to the situation let me get this let me set you straight on this as well we will speak death over ourselves but not the situation more than anything else. What do I mean by that? Is that we have the power. I always say we are powerful, powerful. We have the power to direct things. We have. To, we are creators. We come from a creator. So we are creators, right? And so therefore we have the power to speak things into existence. We have the power to, to end a situation as much as we have the power to start a situation. All right. And I think we, we miss that key point a lot of the time. So I was thinking about this and it made me think about the, the process, because yesterday we went through some steps. Um, and, it, and it was, you know, one of the things that was uh, talking about was your environment. Now, your environment is key to how you think. And yesterday I was saying sometimes you've got to go to grow. Sometimes you've got to take yourself out, navigate yourself out of that situation. Well, today I want to I want to talk to you about your inner critic. Because we all have one. And it, and the reason why is because we've been talking about um, <clears throat> over the past few days of how the mindset, how we talk to ourselves. And we cover this all the, all the way through. It always comes up. And I thought, actually, let me deep dive with you guys um, this morning about the inner critic. And, um, and I'm just going to give you some research, right, to back up what I'm saying. So research suggests uh, and it indicates that the average person, and when I say the average person, I mean me and you. That means that's us. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> right. Excuse me. Hey, fever is not my <laughs> right. OK, excuse me. And you'll know that this is a live show. Yeah. <laughs> OK. OK, so research indicates that the average person, which is me, you, us, talks to themselves about 50,000 times a day. Right. That's 50,000 
times a day. Thank you for the blessings that are coming. Thank you. And the most, and most of that self-talk that you have is about you. Okay. And according to psychological researchers, it is 80% negative things such as, let me see if you can relate to this. I should have said that. They don't like me. I'm never going to be able to, to pull this off. I don't like the way my hair looks today. Uh, the other team is going to kill us. They're just going to beat us. I can't dance. I never, I've never been good at anything. I'm not a speaker. I'll never lose weight. I can't ever seem to get organised. I'm always late. This, these kinds of things, I want to identify with you this morning. And I'm going to take you through some steps to Friday with the inner critic, because I think it's a really important subject. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the sneezing. Yeah, I'm sneezing. Yeah. Um, good morning, Mason. How are you this morning? That's my grandson. So and you know, he's blessing me. So I just want to share that. So over the next few days, I'm going to talk, talk you through the inner critic because it's very, very important that you understand who you are and the mechanisms that are going on in your brain and why things are happening and why you're saying things to yourself and how to eliminate it, really eliminate it. And like I said yesterday, to, to actually eradicate some of the things it's not going to happen here first thing in the morning I'm bringing all this I'm highlighting these things to you if you want to come and work with me then come and work with me and we will go through those issues and we will help you through so this morning we're talking about the inner critic which we've said a man who if you think you are then you are if you think you're not then you're not all right um a man is literally a man is literally what he thinks. So you are what you think. What you think about, you bring about. We've been talking about this because we were talking about manifestation. And one of the things, Friday is Friday is the day because Friday I want to hear about what you've been manifesting. Friday I want to hear the stories of of where you are on your journey, because this is not a one man journey. This is for you to gravitate and to start to bring about change in your life. And one of the things that will hinder you is that inner critic, is that inner person. There's there's like a little person in you that wants to just rattle your cage all the time and fill you with fear. Now that part of you is to try to protect you, but you, sometimes you have to override your inner critic. Well, most of the time you have to. As you can hear, you can hear what um, the thoughts are, right? So now I want you to, to just take this concept today, this concept today, because I know that some of you have been really struggling with the thoughts that you have in your mind, because I'll tell you why I know this, is because of what's written back to me. And so hence why I said we're going to go over this over the next couple of days till Friday, just so that you get some more understanding. <laughs> Now, one of the things I want you to do, I want you to understand, is that your thoughts, the inner critic, affects your body. It affects how you your body reacts. So now we're in, we're living in COVID times, and I just want to bring this, and I think I'm going to, this is where I'm going to end today. Not, we are living in COVID times, and just because we're, we're kind of like moving forward and things are opening up, um, but many people feel worried about going out because many people have died. Your conversation that you are having in your mind is, is so important right now. Because if you have that conversation in your mind that is full of fear, you're going to play havoc on your own immune system. I want you to hear me because this is important. The words that you speak, the thoughts that you have, navigate the, th the words that you speak. And these words are powerful. 
Now, your inner critic can either build you, lift you, or it will kill you and take you out. Right, right, right. I'm seeing some comments and I'm going to address that. You have to now be consciously competent. What does that mean? That you have to be consciously aware of what comes out of this. Because the times that we are living in are perilous times, as we know. So we need to speak life. When you constantly ask, uh, and an example came here, um, it just came here. Um, there's thoughts, I can't do this, I can't do this, I tell that voice. This is what, this is what um, I am LBB says. So um, you're right. So when I hear that voice telling, telling me I can't, I can't, I tell that voice, yes, I can. Because that inner critic's voice can be so loud and so powerful. But I want you to understand that you have the power to shut it down and you need to activate that because your immune system Part of it is based on what you say about yourself. Have you ever been around a person that's always got a headache? Always, of always, or is always sick? Have you ever been around a person? Listen, and I'm not saying because there are illnesses, I don't want anyone to shoot me down and say, well, I've got this here, blah, 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 and, and it's not my fault. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the common, common, the common stuff. I'm not talking about, you know, the inner, inner, inner. But even then, even then, to a certain degree, what I hear is, oh, my arthritis. I'm just going to talk it. Let me just be free. I hear my arthritis, my asthma, my this, my that. And I wasn't going to go here this morning, but it's just come to me. And I'm going to, I'm going to, to challenge you this morning about that inner critic because what happens is is that we then take on this thing and it becomes mine my this my my diabetes my asthma my hay fever yeah we have to be so mindful because your what you say your inner critic is attached to your immune system so we now have to speak positivity, life, power, resourcefulness to our bodies so that we can go out, so that we can be brave enough. Because I use the word brave because many people are scared. So this inner critic, sorry, I'm sorry for sniffing like this. It's not very pleasant. Um, you have to understand that the thoughts that will affect your body. That's one thing I want you to do today. And the second thing to flip onto that is, is as much as we struggle and sometimes the inner critic will try to overpower your thoughts. And as much as that happens, what I want you to remember, this is the one thing I want you to remember today as you work it. Wednesday is that you and me, we are winners. We don't lose. We don't give up. We're winners. So every time that come that that thought comes, any negative thought <clears throat> today, I want you to work it today and say, I am a winner. That's all you have to say. That's your, that's your, that's your affirmation today. I am a winner. And I want you to see yourself winning. If that means you see yourself running to a, a, a finish line and there's a tape there and you're running and you've got your chest out and you've got your head forward and your arms are back and you want to hit that spot then I want you to take yourself there in your mind's eye. Take yourself back to the place where you feel the most powerful and tell yourself, I am 
a winner. It's not, I'm a winner. I think I'm a winner. I could be a winner. I should be a winner. No, there's no shoulda, coulda, wouldas in this. I am a winner. That's what I'm leaving you with today because I really believe that the inner critic is what is taking us out. And one of the reasons why I say that, that is the, the inner critic is, is a, a massive stumbling block for us is because the other shows that I do and the, uh, the other things that I do and I listen to and I hear how we discuss ourselves or how we talk about ourselves. And I think to myself, is that just an innate way that we do things or is there something a structure that has been built up in us especially those of who of us who are black we we generally have this bigger critic and i'm not comparing sizes to anyone but we generally have a, a bigger critic and we have other other things coming from the outside too so not only are we uh, criticizing we have our own critic criticizing us we are also criticizing each other as a people so i want you to understand this morning that we have to really get this issue under control if we are to move forward if we are to really uh, build these businesses that we want to build if we want the, to build the lifestyle if we want to to have an inheritance for our children if if we want to leave a legacy these are the things that we and these are grassroots things within, within us if we really want to to move forward these are the things so this morning it's work it, it's work it Wednesday, it's work it, it's putting the ball in your court. This is for you to work this, work this today. Because I know at some stage of your day today, it might be in early in the morning now, but at some stage throughout the 24 hours to come, there is going to be a thought that comes in your mind that you can't. There's going to be a thought in your mind that's, that's criticizing even the way that you, why did you do that? Why did you do it that way? Have you ever felt that? Have you ever said that to yourself? Because I know that I have. What, what are you going to do that for? That was the wrong move. Or you shouldn't have done it like that. Or you should have done it like this. Or you shouldn't have done it at all. The inner critic will take you out. We must learn to get the inner critic. And, you know, it's not just a fleeting comment. This is a comment that continues and it deflates you. It deflates you. We can do anything. We can do anything. Yesterday, I'm, uh, uh, I made a comment and, and, and I was talking to someone, like, oh, I could never do that. How many of us have said that in our lifetime? I could never do that. Why not? Why not? It doesn't matter. You have to do and and activate your 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 power. You have to live in who you are, and that may not be comfortable for you right now. That may not be comfortable because it's uncomfortable for other people. But the point of the matter is is that you are in control of your inner critic. Your inner critic does not control you. So today. When we're saying all these things, we've got all of these things that come up and we're talking and we're saying we can't, we shouldn't, we wouldn't, with this, with that. Today, your task is to just simply say, I am a winner and I can do all things. I am a winner. I've just added a part. I am a winner and I can do all things. And we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there and we're going to come back tomorrow. So this is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. Now, I do want you to remember, guys, remember this, that I'm moving my this morning inspiration off of my personal page. It's going on to my professional page. If you want to catch me in the mornings at nine o'clock, you can catch me on my professional page as from Monday. And you can also catch me on YouTube. Do follow me on YouTube. There's a lot of things that go on on YouTube that you don't see on Facebook. So do follow me, subscribe, hit the notification button and um, Let's have a great morning's inspiration. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. Have a great day. Have a great day. Um, and 
remember, you are a winner. I am a winner and I can do all things. There has to be an affirmation. It has to come somewhere in the day. And we haven't had it for two days. And, and look, it's here. I am a winner and I can do all things. That's all you have to say, because we need to work on this, because I keep getting too many questions about this in terms of manifesting. So before we manifest, let's deal with this. All right, this is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. I'm out. Work it Wednesday. Work this today. And I want you to tell me on Friday how it helped or not. All right? Okay. So you're going to Michelle. I'm out of here. Ciao. Love, peace, be safe. <laughs>